Privacy? What does it mean? Being alone? Keeping secrets? Having control? Most people would say that privacy is personal information. You know, the good stuff. And most people would agree that personal information is a big part of our identities. In the real world, this isn't a big deal, since we more or less can control what we say and to whom. But in the digital world, it's much harder to know if personal information is safe or not. For example, what would happen if someone logged onto your Facebook account and changed your status from married to single? Sure, worse things could happen, but that's not the issue here. What I want to know is, do you use the same password for Facebook as you do for your mail account? The same inbox where you keep details to your bank accounts, business applications like Salesforce, company secrets, you name it. Now, it may sound surprising, but 8 out of 10 people use the same password for most, if not all, online activities. Almost like having one key for all doors, which is practical until someone else gets hold of the key. And don't get me wrong, I like having just one password. It's simple, because who can remember 10 different hard-to-crack combinations? But what if someone actually did want to get access to your mail account? Here's an example of how that is done. First of all, finding your actual mail address isn't exactly rocket science. Then it takes about five minutes of online search to find out about your hobbies. For instance, where you work out. After that, a simple phone call is all it takes to get hold of your password. The caller pretends to be you and says he's forgotten his password to the gym's online booking system. A service-minded receptionist who wants to help gives out your password to the caller. If it's the same password you normally use online, it means that the caller now has access to most of your online accounts. Now believe it or not, but that's how most passwords are revealed. Through a simple phone call. A good example to prevent this from happening is to use something called one-time passwords. Let's say you want to log on to your mail account. As always, you type in your username and password. But instead of logging on, you'll be prompted to enter a one-time password. A password that will be delivered by text message to your phone. Type it in, and that's it. With this solution, you can continue to use the same password you like so much, you just combine it with a one-time password solution. You can also use a mobile app password generator or hardware token. With solutions like these, you can rest assured knowing that all your online information and everything that comes with it is safe. So what does privacy mean? Well, it doesn't really matter, as long as it's yours. Check out Nordic Edge One-Time Password Server.